Welcome to Quick Learning. Today we are going to learn another transaction code of SAP that we use normally in plant maintenance module uh, or PM module. This is a very basic and simple transaction which is how to create a notification for plant maintenance. And the transaction code that is used for this purpose is IW31. We will just write IW31 in our transaction tab. We will press enter and you will see this window uh, will uh, IW21 and this window will appear in front of you. It will have simple options. Uh, if you want to give reference of some notification, you can enter here. Otherwise, you can just you should write the notification type. So I will first see what type of notifications are available in my system. So these type of notification are available that I can create. For example, I want to create a notification for unplanned maintenance, like for some uh, my repair of my bearing or the thing. I will write M1 and I will press enter. Now you will see another dialog box will appear in front of you. And we have to enter our required details in this dialog box. I would, I would write here replacement of bearing 62405 to RS okay so I the I want to create the notification to replace a certain bearing that is this next I have to enter the location where I want to replace that bearing for that I have to write functional location then it's equipment and then in that equipment the assembly so for example if I exactly know the numbers I will write just here but if I don't know what are the uh, numbers of these uh, equipment and assemblies but I know physically that this is the part where that bearing is installed what I will do I will press this button to, to enter into a search tab I will write maintenance plant that is 3003 and then I will press enter and it will show me all the equipments that are installed on this plant okay so I will go down and down I will I will try to find the exact equipment number through what through my uh, through the description if I know exactly that what is the description of uh, that uh, equipment so what I will do, I know that this bearing is installed on this one, Loyola Stretch Wrapper to the Octopus, this one. I will press enter and you will see that this equipment number is installed, is entered here. You will press enter uh, once again and you can see that this information will be filled automatically here. The functional location is selected at this one, GUJ L3, uh, line 3, PET, KHS, and this equipment number is written here. I have just searched it out because I didn't know the exact uh, number. The I didn't know the exact uh, name, so it has appeared over here. Now I will write some description here that uh, replacement of marine as per inspection causing noise so i have just written uh, uh, the details here going down it is uh, the malfunction start date and i am writing that malfunction has started on this date the, today 6th of feb and this is the time on which i have reported the malfunction but malfunction end i cannot write end write the end date because uh, it will be written once my maintenance is completed and there is the work center person responsible I can just write uh, XYZ if I if it allows me to write XYZ it does not exist so I can just search it out what is this uh, search item if in my system there are certain type of you know data available for the system for the persons I will select that person so you can see that these names are available here and I can select any one of these uh, as per my ease 
as well as necessity and value I can select any one of them so you see that uh, these are very easy words this is very easy I for example I select this one over the month for example not active so you you can just leave it empty if there are some for report number I can just write any name here so it is causing no issue so you can see that uh, I have entered these details and the same are available here the main description uh, the functional location uh, the equipment the description the malfunction start date etc what I will do I will just press button of save and you can see that my notification is saved and this is my uh, notification number that I can use to uh, create uh, I can use to perform this particular maintenance so I hope this has been very easy for all of you so please like and uh, share this video and subscribe to our channel until next time bye bye